Hello my dear, welcome you all to this interesting channel, Dear LC. Today I am going to teach you the most important topic of English grammar and I will show you two important strategy to learn today's topic. But before teaching the strategy, before showing the strategy, I would like to ask you to subscribe this channel. Let's start the video. My dear, today we are going to discuss the topic getting the order right. Yes, my dear, getting the order right. This question can be asked in this way. Write two sentences for each pair of events below, showing that the person did them in the right order. Write two sentences for each pair of events below, showing that the person did them in the right order. You'll be asked, you can be asked to write option 1 and option B or let me say option A or option B. And you have to write in this way, as given the example there. Example, turn off the mains, toss the wire. This is the situation, turn off the mains, toss the wire and the options or the answers in 1 and B, 1 and 2, A or B. Option A, he turned off the mains before he tossed the wire. He turned off the mains before he tossed the wire. Option 2, he did not toss the wire until he had turned off the mains. He did not toss the wire until he had turned off the mains. Okay, so how did I write these two sentences? My dear, on the basis of some specific structure and the rules there. Let me talk about the rule now. If you know the rule, I hope that you will be able to answer this question very easily in your board examination as well. Exactly, student of class 12, grade 12, meanings into words. This is all about compulsory English, my dear. Structures and rules, right order. If the order is right, like the above example, as we discussed immediately, turn off the mains, toss the wire. Means before tossing the wire, the person turned off the mains. That is the right order. That is why, that is why he turned off the mains before he tossed the wire and he did not toss the wire until he had turned off the mains. In the same way, in the same way, if the order is right, yes, before slash and after slash, if the order is right, you have to use this structure like subject plus first action, Bob 2, plus before plus subject plus second action, Bob 2. In the same way, he turned off the mains. Yes, my dear, he turned off the mains. Bob 2, he subject turned off. First action, that is in Bob 2. Yes, of the mains, before plus subject, he again, second action, Toss the wire. After slaps, there is toss the wire. Okay. Option B, what do you need to write in option B there, my dear? Subject plus did not plus second action. And that is in Bob 1 plus until plus subject plus head plus Bob 3. That is past perfect and that is first action. Okay. Again, my dear, subject plus did not plus second action. That is in Bob 1 plus until plus subject plus head plus Bob 3. That is in past perfect and that is first action there. So, like the sentence number two here he did not toss the wire he subject did not plus second action toss the wire toss bob one plus until subject he had had plus bob three turned past perfect turned head plus turned first action that is written before slash so my dear if the sentence is in right order that is the rule if the sentence is in Wrong order, the rule is subject plus did not plus second action. That is in Bob 1 plus before plus subject plus first action. That is in Bob 2. That is option B. I mean option A. Option In option B, you need to write that subject plus first action Bob 2 plus before plus subject plus head plus Bob 3 past perfect. Okay. Once again, option B there. Subject plus first action. That is in Bob 2 plus before plus Subject plus head plus bob three head plus bob three means here past perfect. Okay, let's start. Let's start. I'm going to I'm going to explain everything, guys, by giving you the example, my dear. Resigned, found another job. Now tell me, resigned, found another job. Someone resigned from the job and try to short another job. Try to find another job there. That is exactly wrong order my dear not the fight order that is wrong order. that is why that is why we have to write here he did not find another job subject plus did plus bob one this is for wrong order my dear he did not find another job before he resigned 
before subject plus verb to. Okay, he did not find another job before he resigned. Option B there, he resigned before he had found another job. Okay, subject verb to before plus subject had plus verb three, or you can say past perfect. This is the structure for wrong order mind here. He did not find another job before he resigned. Option B, he resigned before he had found another job. Okay, now my dear question two there, question two, sign the contract, read it. Let me say read it, sign the contract, read it. Someone signed the contract before reading the contract, before reading it. That is exactly wrong order, not the right order mind here. That is why, that is why you need to write in this way, like uh, we did in question number one. He did not read the contract before he signed it. Yes, this is a wrong order. That is, that, that is why you need to write in this way. He did not read the contract before he signed it. Option B, he signed the contract before he had read it. He signed the contract before he had read it. My dear, now let's talk about, let's talk about right order. I'm going to give you the example of right order. How to answer this kind of questions if there is right order? Like, 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 why this feet came in? Before coming in, the person wiped his feet. That is in right order. And the structure for the writer is, my dear, he wiped his feet before he came in. Subject, pop to. First action plus before plus subject plus verb to second action. This is very easy, very, very easy, my dear. Option B there, he did not come in until he had wiped his feet. He did not come in until he had wiped his feet. That is why this stuff is all about subject plus, did plus, verb one. What well, I have to say did not plus verb one, plus until plus, subject plus, had plus, verb three. Okay, question number four, my dear. Question number four, have their house decorated, put it up for sale. These sentences are a bit different. The structure is the same, but this sentence seems to be different, my dear. Don't worry, don't worry, don't go anywhere. Watch the full video. I'll explain each and everything properly. You just listen attentively, my dear. Have their house decorated, put it up for sale. Have their house decorated, put it up for sale. It means someone, first of all, decorated the house, asked someone to decorate the house and put that house for sale. That is in right order, but the sentence are different. That means that means the person is not decorating the house, house himself or herself, rather had his house decorated. That is why we have to write down there. They had their house decorated. They had their house decorated. This is again Bob to my chair. Had their house decorated before they put it up for sale. And option B, they did not put up the house for sale until they had it decorated. Okay, they did not put up the house for sale until they had it decorated. Okay, question number five, my dear, question number five there. And, and this is going to be the last exercise. I mean, last question there. Please, please listen it carefully. Check his answer, leave the example. Now tell me, you tell me this is right order or wrong order. Check his answer, leave the exam room. Before leaving the exam room, the person checked his answer. Yes, exactly. My dear, you are right. That is in right order. And you know the structure of right order. I hope you can do this exercise, this question yourself. But, but I'm going to explain you again. He checked his answer before he left the exam room. Okay. Subject, Bob to first option first, first action first. Then his answer before then he or you can say subject and bob to second action my dear okay option b there he did not leave the exam room until he had checked his answer he did not leave the exam room until he had checked his answer he did you can say did not plus bob one my dear keep in mind did not plus bob one plus until plus he let us say subject or had plus bob three my dear if this video is really fruitful for you, if you learned something from this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Click on subscribe. Click on all notification. Do share this video with your family and friends. 
and don't forget to write comments. Thank you.